Golden Dawn's most notorious member was a self-confessed Satanist, Alastair Crowley, who styled himself as the Beast. Crowley was one of the pantheon of cult figures portrayed on the cover of the Beatles record, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Crowley had already been trying to contact the devil in 1898 when he first made contact with the Order of the Golden Dawn. By 1900, Crowley was mingling with the elite of British society, sharing his knowledge of devil worship with leading Masonic politicians, aristocrats and royalty. Crowley was a full-time occultist and had no day job in which he had to hide his fascination with Freemasonry and Satanism. In his book, Confessions, Crowley claims he was initiated into Freemasonry at the Anglo-Saxon Lodge in Paris. He also recounts how he became master of one of London's oldest and most respected lodges, the Studholm Lodge, which is now rumored to have Tony Blair as one of its members. Crowley shared Albert Pike's enthusiasm for the devil. In his book entitled Magic, Crowley writes, The devil is this serpent, Satan. He is life and love. He is light, and his zodiacal image is Capricornus, the leaping goat, the godhead. Secret societies often portray the goat of Mendes sitting in the Baphomet position. A statue of George Washington himself, a high-ranking Freemason, shows one of America's founding fathers sitting in the same occult posture as Crowley's goat-headed devil. In 1912, Crowley became the British leader of the Ordo Templi Orientis, the OTO, which was a direct descendant to the original Bavarian Illuminati. The OTO was a hardcore satanic secret society, and Crowley devised the initiation ritual around the 33rd degree ceremony of Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Crowley claimed the formation of the OTO was reconstituting Freemasonry back to its German Illuminati roots. Crowley wanted nothing less than to dance with the devil. He was impatient with the politeness of Masonic ritual. He described basic Freemasonry in the lower ranks as a sinister association for political intrigues and pirates.
By 1900, Crowley was mingling with the elite of British society, sharing his knowledge of devil worship with leading Masonic politicians, aristocrats, and royalty. Please, Professor, why can't we go with you and see all the crown heads of Europe? Do you know any? Oh, you mean the thing. Yes, uh, well, uh, I... That's right here. Sit right down here. That's it. <laughs> This, uh, this is the same genuine, magic, authentic crystal used by the priests of Isis and Osiris in the days of the pharaohs of Egypt. Used by the priests of Isis and Osiris in the days of the pharaohs of Egypt, in which Cleopatra first saw the approach of Julius Caesar and Mark Anthony and, uh, and so on and so on. Now, uh, you, uh, you'd better close your eyes, my child, for a moment in order to be better in tune with the infinite. We, uh, we can't do these things without reaching out into the infinite. Reaching out into the infinite. Yes, that's, that's all right. Now you can open them. We'll gaze into the crystal. Uh, What's this I see? A house with a picket fence and a barn with a weather vane and a, uh, of a, of a running horse. <laughs> That's our farm. <laughs> yeah. want to know is are you a good witch or a bad witch but I've already told you I'm not a witch at all witches are old and ugly what was that the munchkins they're laughing because I am a witch I'm Glinda the witch of the north you are oh, I beg your pardon but I've never heard of a beautiful witch before only bad witches are ugly